For those who fought in the Battle of Britain, it was a battle for survival. For the free world, it was a breathless moment in history. For failure would have plunged mankind into a new dark age. Never have so many owed so much to so few. So welcome to issue 13 where we'll be fitting the fireproof bulkhead and engine. And as always, let's begin with the parts list. <coughs> so we have part one, the fireproof bulkhead. Part two is the frame with bulkhead details A to F. So there's obviously six pieces on there. Part three is a silver sprue frame with bulkhead details G, G to J. So that's G, H, I and J, four pieces. Uh, piece number four is the hydraulic hydraulic fluid tank and then we finish it off with three pm two by four millimeter screws we will also need the section of framework supplied with this 11 so just in the top screen you can just see the framework but I've tried to create as much space as I can um, and we actually need to begin with piece J and I which is from the silver um, frame uh, uh, sorry the silver sprue so let's get the orientation exactly as the magazine says there's no letters on this one but it looks like this is the correct way round no um, I'm looking for some detail on this circle there so I think it may be this way round um, and yes so if you look on the top right one there's a couple of little lines going across and you can actually see that on the magazine and then this one is a circle and this is a smaller circle so J and I will be these two pieces top left and bottom right so we'll get our side cutters and I'll cut the easy one off first which is this one and this actually isn't the easiest because it's a little tab on it so do not cut this tab off so this is piece I and you see that from there it looks like it's going round but on this side there's a little sticky out tab you can see that's obviously we're going to stick that to something and then the other piece is this one and we can see that that is a perfect circle so we'll just cut that off as applicable okay and what we're going to do is we're just going to place that inside there like so so uh, note so let's have a look at stage one I don't know if I brought it up um, identify parts J and I on frame 1303 note that part I has a tab on the side cut the parts from the frame and check the fit use a cocktail stick to apply a little super glue to the inside of part I and fix the parts together so um, I have actually thrown my glue away from the previous stages um, because it was just it was getting a little bit old um, so I need to just make a little um, glue piece up and I'm just going to put a little dab of this glue. I don't know why I've used this one. It shouldn't make a difference. And one cocktail stick. And place the cocktail stick there. So this is the dry fit. And we see that that's going to end up sticking out a little bit further. Now there's a little bit of black bit there very hard to see on the camera but I can see it it's also a black bit that tab looks like it's going to be glued to something so there's going to be something there so the underside from there is going to be difficult to see so I'm just going to think that I'm going to glue that like that so that this black piece is up as well so I'll get my little bit of glue on a cocktail stick and it's quite a large hole so we can get quite a lot of glue in there 
but remember spread that glue really really thin because thin glue is just as strong as thick glue but it dries quicker so there's my black piece and that's gone in and we count to five perhaps four five and good we've pulled that out gently and that's not coming so I can see stage two is going to require a different piece so I'm just going to put that down safely so stage two cut parts G and H from frame 1303 check the fit note that there is a tab on the side of part G that should be aligned with the flattened side of part H apply a little super glue into the recess and fix the parts together so we've only got the two parts left so we will cut them off the sprue we know they're the correct pieces there is one piece cut off and there is the other and just make sure you know how the tabs go so this piece is H and it should have a flat side there we are there's the flat side there so that needs to go at the bottom and this has a little tab and the tab needs to go the same side as the flat side so right so we've got the two little lines will come up sorry I'm finding this a bit fiddly so we've got two little lines on there that needs to be poking upwards with the tab pointing towards the flat side which is there and that's the direction it's going to go in so it looks like the way the connector is it's a little it's got four sides so it looks like it can go in any one of four positions two three four so make sure you get this lined up correctly that's what it should look like when it's finished there are three positions that are incorrect and one position that is correct so cocktail stick and I'm spreading this glue as thinly as I can um, when super glue glues plastic it is actually quite a strong bond and you don't need as much glue um, and it is really strong it's only when you're bonding things like heavy metal pieces that it might struggle and that there we go it did actually come out when I did a little gentle pull there it is it is actually coming out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reapply the glue on the inside and then I'm going to just put a little bit on this flat surface because when I test fitted I noticed that this is actually going to be hidden up once we place this piece on remember where the flat side is there is the flat side and we'll just hold those together just a few seconds three two one we'll give that a little test pull yeah I'm very happy with that very very happy with that and um, by the time that glue actually sets that will be even stronger but for now it's it's more than strong enough so let's have a look at stage three take the bulkhead 13 1 identify the hole where the tab on assembly IJ fits check the fit and fix in place with a little super glue identify the recess where assembly GH fits and fix in place with a little super glue the insert on the right shows the two assemblies in position on the fireproof bulkhead so this is the fireproof bulkhead and <clears throat> you can see from the picture that there's some detailing um, let me find a clean cocktail stick or in this case we're using it as a pointy stick so we have this wonderful detailing um, the camera's not picking up too well but it's actually brass tubings um, so if we 
have no tubes at all we know we're working on the wrong side but as you can see there's no holes there to fix anything in place so working on this side we are I'm using this piece here as a reference just above that is a little square and that's where our first piece is going to go in and it's this piece which is IJ and that will go in like that and as we suspected the tab where the black bit is is going to be hidden up so I was absolutely correct to put the black piece down and then the second piece is going to go one above it and it's no that's incorrect so I'm using this tube as a reference there you see this brass tube there now it's almost like it's going to draw a circle it's, it's like it's um, highlighting that piece so it it looked like I wanted to put it there at first but it's actually this one because of this brass tubing so it looks like we want the two little lines pointing upwards um, you can only place it in one of two directions because of the shape of the hole and this is going to go in like so so they've gone in very well by hand I found I don't need tweezers so what I will do now is looking at the way they fit this first one I'm just going to apply plenty of glue to the hole and it is a metal piece so we need it's very difficult to explain but we need enough glue but not too much glue um, and you know I thought I put the wrong piece in there so that's being held in for about five seconds and I'm gonna suspect that if we knocked that we could knock it out but I don't think it will get knocked because we're gonna treat it with care aren't we so it looks like I'm getting a little bit low on glue on this part so I'm gonna put some more glue on my little tray now I noticed that this one had a little bit more contact with the surface so I'll do another test fit because I'm beginning to forget which way round the part goes that is correct so we've actually got all of this contact there so with this one I can place some glue in the hole but I can also afford to just bring a little tiny bit down onto the part because what I've done is I've looked at where the part is going to make contact and I'm confident that there will be no glue showing um, if you put too much glue on when this part squeezed together all the glue will squeeze out of the side and that I am extremely happy with um, if you do find you've got any black parts like there's a little black bit I don't know maybe it's just caught the light no there's a little black bit there where it's um, just there where it was attached to the sprue you can always just touch that up with a piece of silver uh, paint piece of silver paint some silver paint and as a test to see how well the glue is stuck I'm going to pick the piece up by the parts and it is quite heavy actually when you consider the size of it because this is metal um, it is quite it is putting a bit of force on that so I'm really happy with that part so I can see we need to make things in the next few stages so I'm just going to pop this there where it's nice and safe and then we'll discuss stage four so stage four cut parts D and E from the frame 1302 check the fit of the parts there is a very slight rib on the underside of part D that locates in the recess in the rim of part E fixed together with a little super glue identify the fixing point on the bulkhead 1301 
and glue in place. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to do it in two stages. I'm going to fix the two parts together. I'm going to put the part down. I'm going to go on to stage five where I'm going to make the part um, and then put them together. Then I'm going to go back to stage four. I'm going to fit the part to the bulkhead. Then we'll move on to stage six, which is attaching the piece we made in stage five to the bulkhead. Slightly unusual instructions because stage one and two is to make pieces. Stage three is to fit them both to the bulkhead. Stage four is to make a piece and stick it to the bulkhead. Stage five is make the piece. Stage six is attach it to the bulkhead. And I've probably just confused everybody there, but we'll we'll get there. So um, slightly inconsistent instructions. So first of all, let's get the parts in the orientation of the magazine. So I can see that this piece, which is quite a unique piece, should be in the top right. So I'm going to get a piece of paper just to make life easier for me because I am reading from page two and three of the magazine and page one is where the instructions are. So, uh, sorry, the parts listing. So we've got D, B, A, E, C, F. So if we place our sprue back down there, we'll know exactly where the parts are. So we need parts D and E. So D is there. So just have a little look at the parts. I don't want to cut bits off that are meant to be sticking out. And there we go. Place it back into, I know that's in the top right. And then piece number E is going to be this one. So perhaps we're going to work those two, those two, those two, who knows. Without looking at the magazine in advance, we really don't know, do we? So let's be careful and place this back. We don't need that anymore. Let's have a look at this piece. Does it need any cleanup? I don't think it does. So part D, we have a long peg in the middle and then we have a short peg pointing downwards and then part E is a circle with a little notch cut out of it. So, and that downwards peg is gonna go into the little notch and I will call that a good fit. So it's just a little locating peg there, you see, so we can fit it to the bulkhead. So let's apply some glue. And I think we'll get away with just applying glue just to the peg. You know, it's nice to flood it with glue and make sure it sticks firm. But as you've seen from my previous stages, we really don't need a lot of glue. And if we use less glue, the glue that we've bought, which costs real money, will last us longer. So, this is stage four. If you want to place it on a piece of paper and label it, that's fine. Belt and braces never hurt anybody. So, um, stage five is cut part C from the frame. So part five is this piece. In fact, let's bring up stage five. So stage five is cut the cut part C from the frame 13.2. Identify the fixing point on part 13.1. Check how the tab on part C fits. Apply a little super glue and fix in place. So that explains why they've done the instructions the order they have, because this isn't actually making anything. This is just cutting from the sprue making sure it's nice and clean and then gluing it onto the bulkhead. Now I'm looking at where the previous part should go and I don't think there's going to be any interference. Sometimes you need to glue things in a particular order um, so that they fit in properly. The previous stage is going to be glued there and we're actually gluing there. And I know it's there because it's just up from that silver piece 
and then it leads into two pipes so this is going to be pointing see there's a little pointy bit on the top of the part I really am struggling to position these parts I do apologize so it's like a little nipple and so the the pointy bit is on top and the tab needs to go you see it's got two wings and then there's a tab a locating pin below that locating pin needs to go in fact actually I would advise strongly to use tweezers and this is going to be difficult because there's not really anywhere to lock the tweezers in um, you're going to have to grip on that nipple so you can see it's slightly insecure um, so and that's too high up so there we go and we're going to place that into there like so so it's actually going to join those two copper pipes so whatever that copper pipe is it feeds something into whatever part this is um, so there you go that's how it's going to go in so we take our tweezers we just put them down somewhere safely we'll get some glue we'll apply a little bit of glue into the peg now if you're confident you don't have to do this maybe run a little tiny line of glue just across from the pipes there's hardly any there you see there's hardly any and then most of the glue is in the actual hole and then we can place that peg into there we can let go with the tweezers and then push down counting to five as we do three four five and then we'll do a gentle pull just to see if it's going to stick because we may not yeah i don't think that one's got quite enough glue in it uh, it's not necessarily that it hasn't got enough glue in it's also a case of have we actually glued in the correct place so plan b is to apply glue to the part the problem with applying glue to the part is if as you bring it into the hole if you miss the hole you will actually end up putting a dab of glue onto the part and then you will the part will look ugly um, so let's be very careful so the nipple is pointing downwards and in first time so I'm press on the wings because it's going to bring the nipple part down up sorry into a more natural position and that has done the job really well so let's go back to stage four um, which is to place this part in and we've left this remember because it's drying so we've got the little locating tab there so I'm going to grab that with my tweezers so that the locating tab is sticking out from the tweezers so that's not enough I need to grab that just on the end so that the tweezers won't obscure the part as we try to glue it in and that's going to go in there and you see that that's going to join those two two brass pipes up so based on last time I'm going to apply the glue to the part and I can see from the flat bits where the glue is going to go so hit the pipe hit the uh, peg first because if you put slight too much glue on your cocktail stick that's where most of the glue is going to come off if you place too much glue on the flat part it's going to squash and squish outwards when you put the part on so straight in if you don't have the confidence to uh, go straight in put the glue into the peg and then place the part into the hole there we go so a gentle pull yeah so there we go guys that's that one so let's have a look at stage six taking care not to damage the tab cut part b from the frame 13 2 
check how the tab on part B fix, fits into the fixing point in part 13. Apply a little super glue and fix in place. So part B is this one, the one in the middle on the top. And that's got, don't be tempted to cut all the way down. It's got a little tiny nipple at the top, not very big. Um, and then we've got the tab at the bottom. So if you can see on the top, you see how there's just a very small nipple and then the tab is on the bottom. So we will need to hold with the tweezers. Now, this part is a little bit off center. So looking at the magazine, right so you've got like a square base with a circle coming up but if you turn it round it's a lot more square so what you will need looking at the magazine you need to see that that circular bit and that circular bit will be pointing towards the middle of the part so I'll grab my tweezers like so and what we will be doing is we will be applying to this hole there with the circle towards the middle and it will go in like so. Now that pit bit isn't going in. This Oh it is going, it's going in very very, no it's going in very stiff. So I was about to say this is exactly why we test fit. Um, this was a little bit of an issue. So it's going to be easier to put it in with uh, my fingers. I think it's long enough. So I'm not going to glue on any of the surface because that peg is obviously a tight fit. So we will just apply a little bit of glue inside the hole and I feel I've put too much glue on there so I'm just going to rub a little bit off the end of my cocktail stick and then I'll go around again spreading that glue and taking any excess off onto the cocktail stick and then we can apply this part remembering that the circular bit is going into the middle and that goes in like so that's quite interesting because that's a little bit you see how that's that's some kind of twisting and it's is off center so it's not been left exactly in the middle which I think just adds a little bit more character right that is not coming out that glue is stuck fast so that means we can now look at let's put the sprue back remember don't want to get in a muddle stage seven <coughs> cut part A from the frame uh, 13 2 check how the tab on sloping end of part A fits in the hole at the side of the bulkhead 1301 apply a little super glue and fix in place now we are actually removing our reference point from this piece we know where everything is but we only are leaving one piece left so we it's obvious which one it's going to be so we want i think our reference point is going to ooh, sorry i just noticed the cocktail stick with the glue is resting against the cop uh, the propeller so we have a square with one sloping edge so it's actually a parallelogram we also have a large sticking up tab and this sticky out tab needs to be closest to the bulk bulkhead wall um, as opposed to being further away we also have a square tab and we have a circular tab and we can tell from here um, the reference point is we're after a, a line next to a pipe so we know it's not either of these two holes it's going to be this one so what's going to happen is because this large tab needs to be closest to the wall it goes in like that and it's going to go in at an angle 
which at this stage looks odd but I'm sure it will all make sense when we've finished so let's use tweezers even though it's large enough to use our fingers get some glue onto the tab I think I need more glue let me just give my little my little reservoir a top up you could actually use the brush for this if you're that way inclined I think the brush would work very well um, but I'm kind of in the motion now of doing cocktail sticks um, so I'm going to just place a little bit on the on the actual part um, but mostly hitting the peg because if there's any oozing it will then just go along the side whereas if you put some on on the flat bit as well it just gives more to ooze out doesn't it so let's get our tweezers place in that part oh and I've lost control of the tweezers so we let go of the tweezers we can now press that part in for about five seconds two three four five and that is not going to take a lot of force but that's in there nice so let's have a look at stage eight which should be the last piece on this sprue and we need to cut f from the frame 1302 two pegs on the back of part f fit into the holes in the bulkhead 1301 check the fit and fix in place so what I've done is while I was calling that out I've begun I made a start um, now this is actually fixed to the sprue by two of these pointy out bits if you cut them flush you're gonna you're gonna lose a little bit of the detail so you need to be made aware that these parts there are attached to the sprue these pieces are free so they need to be cut to the same length so can you see that if you cut it off properly it looks like I don't know what would you call that a little little submarine submersible a spider with a four-legged spider who's had his legs cut, cut off but they need to be equidistant so we also have two sets of tabs sorry we don't right so this is the tab that we're going to use to glue it down with so we have a little square on the bottom with two locating pegs and I cannot seem to see the difference between top and bottom um, they look the same to me so it doesn't seem to indicate that there is a top and a bottom so let's do a dry fit in that direction and that looks good so they see it joins up the two brass lines so then we'll remove that and we'll do a test fit the other way and I would suggest that it doesn't matter which way round it goes because both directions look fine so a little bit of glue and I'm only going to hit the the, the actual holes like so and then and the reason I'm only hitting the holes is because when I when I did the dry fit it was actually quite a tight fit so and if we need to put more glue in because it's not sticking we can always add more that's stuck that is stuck absolutely firm so there we are that's building up now and that's looking rather lovely so stage 9 the last detail on the bulkhead 1301 is the hydraulic fluid tank and this goes at the top of the bulkhead check how the pegs fit into the holes and glue in place the diagram on the right shows the completed bulkhead so this is the bulkhead it's green it's got very little detail on it um, but you can see that the little tabs on the side are off center 
so I think on the picture these little tabs want to be lower lower than the center line um, so what we will do is we will dry fit that and that looks absolutely fine to me so just for fun let's fit it so that it's incorrect and okay it's got an ah you see now the top of it is a little bit too close to the brass pipe so it sits at an angle and it doesn't feel right whereas if you put it the correct way round it just sits nice there's no wiggle there so but it also enables us to look at the contact points and I can see that the contact points so you've obviously got the pegs but you've got all of this around there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply two dots of glue to the peg and then I'm just going to very very lightly rub along there and then I can see I've put a lot on there so I'm going to take that off and what's quite handy is that this cocktail sticks create a little bubble and it's like a little applicator brush or a little applicator for the glue so you see that we've just we've put that on really 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 thin um, so with the with the two sticky eight bits at the bottom that goes in like that give it a press for about five seconds and then we'll check that's perfect so I stress this a lot these are obviously stuck in place but they haven't cured um, glue needs a curing time which is usually overnight um, so although they're stuck in really well and they really are workable with you know that they're, they're glued enough to work with them as you can see um, but I wouldn't rely on them being a permanent bond until tomorrow morning so stage 10 take the nose assembly from issue 12 and the engine assembly from issue 11 <coughs> excuse me check how the engine fits over the motor housing uh, 2122 pipes along the top of the engine align with the ends of pipes on parts 4 8 red arrows note that the base of the supercharger circled fits over a raised rim on the engine bearer 12 1 so we did actually have a little play last issue and we did notice well I noticed that so let me just remove the sides so the, the way we know this is going to fit is that these pipes there should line up with those silver parts there which it almost almost does um, but in addition we need this piece of the supercharger to sit onto there nicely so I'm just going to pull that wire to one side so we're going to place that on there and it kind of does fit and then doesn't fit so I wonder if there's something blocking it there we go now it fits now it doesn't fit this is interesting so right so those pipes aren't lining up for me so I wonder if that's me has done something wrong okay so let's remove the, it seems to be trying to stick to a magnet I know there's some magnets along the side but it feels like it's being attracted to a magnet I actually think it's this piece here so I'm gonna just pull a little bit of this wire back just so that it's not so bent there and I wonder if that's made a difference no if anything it's made it more difficult 
Ah, there we go. There we go. So it's still raised a little bit. So. Right. Okay, I'm going to go with that because I think that's as best as I'm going to do. But I think there's. I, I must have put something in incorrectly because that when you place that there that fits properly but you see the supercharger is a bit airborne but if I bring the supercharger down it then makes the engine airborne so it is a bit of a worry for me because but can you hear something clicking so I wonder if that's going to fit so it is a worry for me I'll be honest with you um, however that sits quite nicely on there if you ignore the slight details at the end so let's have a look at stage 11 because sometimes I notice that we have got screws and I wonder if we screw something in it might just pull things together so issue a letter stage 11 as you fit the engine, the bracket 1111 fits into a recess in the front of the engine assembly. Push the base of the supercharger down over the rim in the engine bearer 121. So Okay. So we're looking for this tab there from the correction sheet should fit into there so which it does or or there we go there we go so there's our answer so we actually there's a there's a tab i'm gonna I'm, i will pull it off so the the tab here needs to actually go into there and that will actually pull the front of the engine down so this is the bit you want to focus on tab there place that pushing down if necessary and then it makes a supercharger harder to push in but can you see how it's now lined the pipes up better however because I've used an inferior glue on an earlier stage it's actually pulled that part off so what I'm going to do while I have the chance I'm going to repair that now and the way I'm going to repair that is I'm going to put a dab of glue along here as best I can. It's only going to need it on this front end. And I, I do know for a fact that the glue I used was the cheap Poundland glue that I like to use. I, it is good glue. Um, however, it's only good glue in certain places. So for gluing metal parts together, it's it's not that strong. Um, whereas this glue, Gorilla Glue, I don't think anything is safe. So there we go. That's oh, that's so much stronger. So let's give that a try. We've got to remember that, that glue is stuck, but it's not actually cured. So if it does pull it apart, I'll have no option but to leave it overnight so so pushing the engine down there we go we need to line that tab in there and there we go i am so happy with that now so so happy because i thought i had a problem there um, but it was just that i didn't get the tab lined up and it has pulled the engine out a little bit but not much so no that's absolutely fine I'm okay with that that's that's fine I think if you didn't know where to look you wouldn't see it so oh and that's just come out again 
Right, so, oh, that's just added a lot of weight to that. You know when you get a moderately heavy piece and another moderately, you know what, that, that has actually come out again. So, sorry guys, I have no option but to leave that overnight because that's not, that's not cured enough. And the amount of force it's applied, it has actually removed the part. See, look, it's it's coming off. So, I will. Right, I think what I'm going to do, I can't remove the part because I've got pieces attached to it. But what I will do is I will use my super glue gel, which is much much stronger. And then I will leave it overnight, and we'll come back to this tomorrow. Obviously that will be in about 20 seconds for you. But that's fine. I know many people that would say, oh, well, we'll leave it. We'll, we'll, we'll just leave it because I need to get it done. And that's fine. If you don't want to do repairs, if you want to live with it, that's absolutely fine. It's your model but I want mine to be as good as I can possibly get it so I want to be doing these small things now right there we go so I'm going to place this piece back on and that's not good because I've just trapped a little piece of pipe under there and we're going to need that later on aren't we because if we didn't need it later on they wouldn't have bothered doing it right so there we go that is on that's actually come out that's that piece that came out that we didn't glue in that was from an earlier stage so I'm actually glad we didn't glue that in now but I will glue it in place now I can see where it's going so apologies for the extras but be glad that I'm not charging you for the extras so there we go guys so I'm gonna leave that overnight to make sure it's really really solid and then we're gonna try and fit it again in the morning okay so it is now the next morning for me anyway um, so I have uh, allowed this to gl glue over uh, glue to dry overnight so we'll just pop this on so as before we're just going to slide this in and we're just going to make sure that tab down there goes in under there uh, above it sorry so there we go that's gone in beautiful so it is trying to push this up but the fit of this is beautiful now so as you see there because the glue is dry and fully hardened it isn't pushing that up it's nicely lined up there and the supercharger sits on that gap there lovely so let's have a look at stage 12 take part 11 10 um, and fit it to the port side of the bulkhead 13 1 study the diagram to ensure you have the right piece and that it is the right way round repeat to fit 11 8 uh, repeat to fit part 11 8 to the starboard side of the bulkhead 13 1 so let's bring in our bulkhead again which has been placed on the side to allow so obviously because the uh, engine has been allowed to uh, set overnight so is this these pieces are absolutely solid so let's have a look at these so the orientation shows that it's this way round and we're looking for um, we're looking for this piece with the little dots on it so this is the incorrect way so this is the correct one we've got the dots on the outside that goes into there like so which that means that it leaves this side to go this way round and it's this dot there I've just tried to pop it into there but as you can clearly see it's those two dots and I'm finding it easier to pop this side in actually no that's not big enough okay So 
So I may need to do a little bit of filing there. This hole there, probably due to the paint, it's a little bit too big. Um, so we can either widen the hole or we can reduce the peg. And in this case, I'm just going to reduce the peg. And all we do is we just take a tiny bit off and we're taking the very top off which is the part that would go into the peg into the hole sorry you see I've hardly taken any off at all and that's a better fit but not fully so let's Okay, so I think it's the hole that needs a bit enlarging. So let's just scrape away in there. Could be a little bit of flash in there. Funnily enough, where it's been saying uh, take away with a file if it's not big enough, we've never had to do that. And the one time it says nothing, we do. So it's not a problem, it happens all the time. And there we go, that's a bit better. So I'm going to leave it there. Now these aren't in very firm. Um, so I'm just wondering, is that going to, does it need to go in firm? So, right, let's have a look at stage 13. Um, Offer the bulkhead assembly up to the rear of the engine. Note that the pegs on struts 1110 and 118 fit into the sockets on either side of part 205. When you are happy with the fit, fix the bulkhead 135 to the bearer uh, 1201 with 2pm 2x4mm screws. So what we're going to do is... I see this has actually got two screw holes on it so right I'm going to take one of these off I'm going to pop this on and I can see that there's two holes on the little uh, remember the horseshoe part so they're going to go in that goes in fine so we just line these up with the screw holes and I want to know where this wire is going to go I assume it's going to come out that way so what I'm going to do then is I will get the screws ready which is these um, 2 by 4 millimeters get them ready So we're then going to bring the other piece of this support up, remembering which way round it goes. I might not even have it the right way. Hmm. Yeah, that is the right way round. So I'm going to add this into. So into the two holes there. Right, okay, so I've got my wire twisted. So we check that. So I'm just going to bring that round to underneath my finger. There we go. Don't want to get that in the way. And I'm just moving this bulkhead backwards and forwards just to allow myself more room. And I see what's going to happen once we've actually screwed this in, it's going to hold it all nice and tight. Alright, so that end is in. It is a fiddly part, very fiddly. So I think what I'm going to do. Just to assist, I think I'm just going to pop screws in there. Literally one turn. That will hold the bulkhead in, but keep it very wobbly. 
and then it's just one less thing to hold so there you go that's in one turn it might actually be in too much right lovely perfect so it's wobbly enough to adjust this but not wobbly enough for it to fall out so So that's in the bulkhead and then as we move this down I'm trying to think where the best because the problem we've got this time whereas before we could move the uh, the horseshoe part we can't move this one because it's now supported on the other side so let's move wish there was an easier way that I could think of but unfortunately there isn't so right just trying to maneuver it there we go that's one hole in one more to go probably harder when we've got the one hole to add in there we go that's almost in very nearly in so it may have come out on the other side okay that's not wanting to go we go right it's not staying in on this side there we go I think that's in I think we have that in so we'll adjust the screws make them a little bit tighter just so that it grips a bit more then we'll add this so I'm still holding it with my thumb and in fact it has actually jumped out so we'll just push that back in that's fine that's looking good so we'll add the screw onto the screwdriver my cutting mat has a slight curve to it it's not the cutting mat actually it's the table underneath right so just add that screw in there and that should be strong enough that I can afford to let go now so So once these screws are in tight that should be it we should not have any falling out because there won't be enough room in there to allow it to fall out so I've given this a gentle tug and I'm convinced that that's going to stay in so that's all in place now so um, we now we just have two little pipes to fit in which is this little spidery bit there so step 14 identify the two pipes on part 11 4 which have not yet been attached to anything identify part 11, uh, 5 4 near the front of the motor there are two small recesses in part 5 4 glue the ends of the pipes in place as shown you may need to use a cocktail stick to apply the glue so very good eyesight needed and there's two recesses down there let me find my tweezers in fact I'm actually going to need to take my glasses off and I'm going to need very good light so the two recesses are actually in there I'm probably not going to get to show you on camera but I think they're in place so the two wires there are in place Yeah, I think they're in. No, this one isn't. Do 
you know what guys I am convinced they're in place so let me get the glasses on to see the screen yeah you can't it's so dark in there you can't actually see but that is that is actually fine so um, I'm calling that done this calling this completed work so completed stage there details such as compressors and tanks have been fitted to the fireproof bulkhead the engine has been fitted behind the propeller and the bulkhead has, has been assembled in place store the assembly carefully that so that no weight rests on the propellers so it's going to be very difficult to store now um, because if we do start to store it on the propellers as, as we've been getting away with we're adding weight onto here and as you can see there a little bit of damage has been caused at this point it's repairable so we really we can't store it up this way because it's not flat so the only option we've got is maybe a shelf or something so that we can store it on the end of the shelf like that but we may possibly want to wrap that up as well so thank you for watching that thank you for bearing with me um, the next episode will be um, issue 14 so I will see you then.